years ago, people would have to travel to foreign countries to make parnosa. This was especially true in the, in the trade industry. People wanted to get spices. Spices come from, many of the spices come from the Orient. So you got a Yidl that's sitting in Krakow. Right? And he wants to go be able to make, uh, make panos, so he sells spices. So he's got to go and take a ship. And ships are oftentimes sink. And they're oftentimes are shot at by Houthi rebels in Yemen. And they, um, there are pirates. There's always been pirates. There's still pirates today. And there is a significant portion of people who don't make it back home. It's a sakana. Right, they have to go through countries and ride through places where they're. They, they just said a thing last week on the news about a, a tiger that walked into a wedding, in uh, one of these countries. It's Hamish. Uh, so it's, you know, there's all kinds of dangers when you go into these places, right? Now this guy would be away from home for months, so while he was there, he'd go in and pick up some souvenirs for his kids, the things you could only get in China. Right now we have. All the only thing you could buy in America are the things that are made in China. But in those days, it was a novelty. You came home with, with, with some tchotchka, or a snow globe from, from China, right? He says, imagine if you got a guy who travels and makes the whole dangerous uh, trek, spending months traveling, and he goes to China, and he spends his entire day, instead of going time, spending time to find the spices that he needs to bring back, he spends his time looking for snow globes. And he comes back home after this entire journey with tchotchkes for his kids. So you lock up people like that. They're a danger to themselves and to societies. Meshiga says the Siddur Shab is the Rabbi Shalom sends us on this incredibly dangerous mission. It takes the Neshama from its safety where it's, it, it basks in the light of the Shekhinah. And he takes his Neshama and sends it down to Olam Hazat the most dangerous journey that's possible. And what do we do? We come back with snow globes. He sends us on a mission to acquire that which can't be gotten up there, Torah Mitzvahs. And when we return, we get distracted here. The, the, the lights are flashing on all the souvenir shops. And they're offering all kinds of deals. And we get completely distracted by the lures of Elamaz. And we forget that well, the real purpose is to live in the entryway into the, the, the Polish um, <clears throat> I think they call it a breezeway. Right? That we're only we're heading into the uh, the ballroom. 